Hey everyone, Jared here, and I was going to do a vlog about the Final Fantasy 15 playable demo that just got released or sort of revealed at the Tokyo Game Show going on right now in Japan. But instead, I thought, well, instead of doing just a vlog about this, why don't I actually show you guys the footage and uh, just talk a little bit about it as you watch it. So right here, this is sort of like a technical demonstration where they're going to show the couple of characters and you see it's obviously raining, you can see the clothes are wet, but take a real good look around. The hair looks absolutely sick. The clothes in particular, look at all the little details. I just love it, especially this character you're seeing right here. I don't know if they show it at this point, but on his back, it's awesome. He's got this really cool looking logo. Well, we'll get back to that when it stops raining. This guy too looks really cool. Just the little bandana on his arm, the way it's just swaying with the wind. I really, really like that. Just the, the detail here is sick. I love the wet skin look too. It's just uh, really, really impressive stuff. And the backgrounds with the buildings and just the lights you see there on the stairs, just amazing. This really impressed me. This, this looks like a next-gen Final Fantasy game. And I really hope that the gameplay holds up because the graphics are just absolutely incredible. I mean, just look at this. This is pretty damn sick, if I do say so myself. And I know a lot of people were burnt on Final Fantasy XIII, so I'm hoping that this one really can hold its own, because Final Fantasy XIV did really well, and uh, I'm hoping this one does too. Anyways, as you can see there, the puddle looks great, the little frog and classic little humor there. But I really like, see the way the drops are actually affecting the puddle and the ground, the pavement looks great. And they're going to shut off the water in just a few seconds here, and then you'll see what it looks like with uh, just basically the dry effects. And I, I personally think this looks absolutely amazing. And I cannot wait till we actually get our hands on this, which now they're saying most likely won't even be in 2015, most likely going to be looking at 2016, which is a little unfortunate, but hey, if the game turns out, well, I'm, uh, I'm all for it. Delay a good game, because a bad game is bad forever, as Miyamoto would say. So yeah, you can take a look here at the pavement, looks great. Now we're going to go back on this character, you're going to go around the back and you're going to see his awesome uh, jacket, which is pretty damn cool. See? Like, it's just stuff like that. Like, that looks really good. The tattoos on his arm look great. They're just showing you here, basically they're showing off is essentially what it is. And I was really impressed. I mean, as you can tell just by what I'm saying here, this this is the type of game where I want it to be good because I'm a huge fan of Final Fantasy, and let's be honest, the series really just it hasn't been in the spotlight for a long time. I know 14 did really well, but to a lot of console gamers, they're like, ah, it's an MMO, it belongs on PC, it's not the same. And a lot of people with the Lightning Trilogy or the Final Fantasy 13 Trilogy, they really felt like they got burnt. So I'm really hoping that this one brings it back to uh, to basically being a non-linear, really deep, kick-ass RPG experience. And I'm hopeful that that's exactly what'll happen. Okay, so here we go. We're going to finally start moving around. I love the red shoes. Every character underneath their shoes, it's red. Look at the cloth physics. See the way the, his actual, whatever, shirt or whatever moved there. I really enjoyed that. I thought that was sick. And the attention to detail in these buildings is just incredible. I, I was just flooring. All right, and here you go. You can see what I'm saying. See the way the the uh, jacket is just slowly moving back and forth. It's little details like that that really always impress me. Now they're moving the lighting around just to show you that this is indeed in-game. This is the real deal. This isn't some pre-rendered scene. Look at this. I mean, wow. This is so sick. I, I'm really, really impressed with this. And hopefully you guys are too, and that was the purpose of making this video. really wanted you guys to see this firsthand, and also to uh, hear, what are your hopes for the game? I mean, we will see a like one battle right now, but it's, uh, it's over in pretty much a heartbeat. 
and I wanted you guys to sort of talk a little bit about what you hope the series sort of returns to. For me, it's the non-linearity. I really want a nice open world that I can go and explore. I mean, sure, we can have um, linear sections, but I don't mean Grand Theft Auto type of open world, but I want a world, you know what I mean? Like, I want a big, huge area there that I can explore, that I can just get lost in with tons of side quests and some nice, rich, deep gameplay. And this is, they're just showing you how you can teleport all over the place. And we're going to be having a battle coming up very soon, if I'm not mistaken. Still showing off. I purposely have lowered the volume of this video for the background, mainly because I didn't want you to hear all the Japanese speaking, because I want you guys to hear my lovely voice. Yes, lucky you. Alright, so here you go, you're playing as a main character, the other characters are taking on their own. Very clean interface as you can see on the left hand side, and right hand side is all your different, uh, the HP of the characters and whatnot. So this guy's just slowly dodging, moving around. I, I love the physics of uh, the characters, though. the way they're moving, the motion is just absolutely fantastic. And look at these creatures here. I mean, this is sick. I think that's supposed to be Bahumat, um, if I'm not mistaken. And it's it's awesome. I mean, look at the skin, the way it looks so real, like... Oh, it's it's absolutely wicked. I'm uh, I'm really I don't know, man. I'm excited for this. This this looks really cool. I like the setting. It's got like a realistic setting, yet still, you know, with all these different characters, still wacky and nuts, and just it's absolutely beautiful. So now we've swapped characters there. I, at least that's what I assume he's done. And I'm just enjoying this with you guys. My impressions aren't really impressions. I'm just telling you what I'm seeing and how I'm impressed. This is so sick. I mean, this is absolutely sick. And I'm really hoping that this system is deep enough that, you know, we can customize it, we can tweak it, we get some really cool powers and power-ups. And now I want to know what you guys thought of this in-game playable demo of the next generation version, or, well, the only version, I guess, of Final Fantasy XV. So... Thank you very much for watching and leave a comment. Let me know what do you hope happens with Final Fantasy XV. I want to know some of your expectations, your hopes and dreams and uh, what you think of the series as a whole. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time. あ、でも、ああ、もう倒した。ギリ倒しましたね。はい。はい。さあ、ということで実機プレイだったんですけど、どうもありがとうございました。